This is what I'm going to draw, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. We are going to start by drawing the seat. And what we want to do is draw a kind of a diamond or a parallelogram. And I'm going to slightly curve it there, slightly curve it there. Bring that down a little bit in on each corner. So we get the thickness. So these are going to be um, pieces of wood, slats of wood going across like that. Um, and then we're going to want to do those coming across there. And these want to be parallel with this line here, parallel with that line there, like that. That will come down there, that will come down there. Those are the slats that make the seat. Now behind here, then we're going to want these slightly curving lines coming up here. And these are going to be made of, it's not wire, but it's very sort of thin slats of metal. And again, we want to have this line here parallel about there, it's getting quite near the top of the camera. Um, and that will come about there and across. And then we're going to want a thickness there like that. So this line is now going to come and follow down there like that. We, we want the width of this um, sort of steel slat coming down like that. And then it kind of folds out at the bottom sideways. And we're going to have another one down here, like that. And then that's going to come, uh, create an X. So there'll be a little bolt holding that together there. So they can fold up like that. And again, at the bottom here. So we want that kind of parallel to that line. So keep keep working on, on these sort of parallel lines. And then that will sort of fold out sideways. Then we want to copy this. That's sort of coming down there. And then... We want that kind of parallel thing going on there. So eventually, essentially, we're kind of creating a little box on the ground, which is similar to that diamond that we first drew to know where these legs are going to come down to. So that will come down to about there and the leg will go out there. This is going to be parallel to that. We've got lots of parallel stuff going on here. And then that will go out that way there. I'm going to ink this in, but if you've got this far, you obviously love drawing, so make sure you click down there and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. Ring that little bell so you get notifications and uh, then you'll know what I'm up to. So, um, we can draw this with these kind of slightly curved corners and then a little line up there which will give the thickness there to it. And I think we ought to draw these, um, the seat next. And I'm going to do that and then slightly down like that. And across and up and across to there. And then I'm not going to join it at the corners because it just makes it look all a bit sort of too clumsy somehow. So I'm, I'm leaving, suggesting the edges rather than actually kind of drawing in every little bit. And that's going to come around like that and down. This will come across there. And again, we're going to suggest the edges rather than draw them in. So leave, <laughs> leave a space there on the corner. And, and again, we're coming all the way back there like that. And there and there and up. And we'll draw the edge there like that. Which means then we can draw that curve going up there and I have forgotten that what we need to do is have uh, strengtheners going across there and we're going to want a strengthener going across the back there as well and you could have one in the middle there but I'm going to leave that because you don't always get that there and we want a very 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 thin well a sort of close line like that so Bring that so that's incredibly close to give that sort of feeling of it. It's just a slat rather than a big thick chunk of metal. It's a thin strip. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. And then this will come down like that. And we can bring this all the way down to the bottom. And this is where this sort of this thickness bit helps because here we're going to see that this actually sort of comes out sideways like that, 
uh, to create that little foot and and I'll, I'll wait until I get the next one in so let's put this one in like that and then that's going to come down there so we'll put a little extra thickness there so that we can see that the foot has been <laughs> bent out sideways like that and then we're going to want a little bolt in there maybe a little line across there so we're going to do something very similar here and we'll bring those two lines down. Oh, that's just, can't really check and see the other two lines. And then here, I'm going to put this line across there, maybe a little bolt or something holding it on there. That will come out. And then that's gonna go up like that. Uh, I've done that the wrong way around, okay. <laughs> we make mistakes like this. So, this should actually be on the inside, but now that it's on the outside, I'm going to put it. On, I'm going to keep it there, so it's wrong. But but you should have this line crossing over. But it's going to make it look a bit odd if I do it. This is called artistic license. <laughs> it's not quite right, but uh, but it'll it'll look look right until somebody looks really closely. And goes wait a minute. That should uh, that should be on the other side. So we bring that around like that. And that's going to go like that and then we're going to want to have this one in there as well with a little hole there now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines as long as you didn't press too hard <laughs> if you do that it gets really difficult to uh, erase and i'm going to do some shading so i'm going to make these lines just sort of get thinner and thinner and further apart and again here just, just sort of they're just little it's called hatching okay so there's these little strokes and then they'll get smaller and disappear like that and we can put some on the edge there too and here I think we should have some hatching so this is the shadow in this sort of crevasse in there and we'll do the same along here and so that's very much in shadow there whereas here it's not really so I'm just going to put some sort of texture in there but then this might be on the shadow on the side there so I'm going to put some there or we maybe have a bit of shadow underneath the, the crossing point and those little cross pieces might create some shadow too and then I'm going to put some shadow there too place it on the ground like that we can maybe put some shadow in there just to accentuate the folding bit of the of the foot there and then a bit of shadow there too and there you go how to draw a folding cafe chair <laughs> thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing every week in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.